Hey everyone, it's High Tech Man here. Today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing the part two to this tutorial. If you haven't seen the last tutorial on how to uh, install the Homebrew channel on your Nintendo Wii, go ahead and just click on one of the annotations up here, okay? But what we're going to do now is we are going to install the uh, USB loading program that, you, that allows you to use a hard drive on your Nintendo Wii. Now you're probably asking, well, why would you want to do that? Well, because uh, if you're like me where you have a lot of games and you don't want the discs to scratch up or they end up getting scratched up anyways really badly to the point where you, your Wii can't read them, uh, you have the option now to just put them on the hard drive here and they load about like 10 times faster. I mean, you pop in uh, your copy of Super Smash Bros. Brawl in there and it takes at least a minute to load, whereas with the hard drive it takes about 10 seconds. So, yeah, so let's go ahead and describe what we're going to be needing as far as tools for this project. Now, if you have a black Wii, which is one of the newer ones that have the uh, built-in Wii motion sensor remote control, um, you're going to probably end up needing something like this. It's just a generic Wii remote control. Uh, you can find this anywhere for like at any flea market for like 10 bucks or something. You're going to need it because uh, the Wii, these newer remotes uh, are not going to be able to work with this project. It's because of this, this Wii sensing uh, motion plus inside. Uh, but if you have one of the older kind of Wii's, such as like the first generation ones where they're just white, they don't have the little, you know, Wii Motion Plus thing in it, this might work. But if you have this remote and it does not work, what I would recommend you do is you get a GameCube controller and you just plug it into your um, into your Wii. But I'll explain all of that when we get into the actual Wii. But what we need to do is we need to prep our USB slash SD card. Like I said in the other video, it has to be in a non-HC card. So if it says SDHC on it, you can't use it. It has to be at least under two gigs, okay? I know it's gonna be a little hard to find, but you know, just browse around your local computer store that you might find one for like a few bucks, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna have, go on ahead and plug it in to your computer. Now, I've already provided a link below that all you have to do is just click on the link and copy the files that are in this zipped folder straight to the root of the um, of the drive. So I'm going to go ahead and load it. You can see here it's on SendSpace. Just go ahead and just click here to download from SendSpace. I've already downloaded the file here. It's already here in my queue. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go on ahead and go into the file directly. Double click on the file and then go ahead and just select everything and copy it. And then go to your flash or your uh, your SD card, and you can see I've already I just put them all here. But I'm just going to go ahead and delete them, and paste them into the card real quickly. All right. <clears throat> so after all that is done, all you're going to need to do then is go ahead and start your Wii. So as soon as this is done, I'm going to go ahead and just transfer everything to my capture card, so that way you guys can see what I'm doing in real time. Okay. So now you can see everything's done here. So unplug this. Okay, to that, go ahead and put your SD card inside of your Wii right here. It's right next to me. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and turn the Wii on. You can see here uh, that I have my capture card already working. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put full screen to that. Like I said, you want to either use, uh, if you have a newer kind of Wii, I'd recommend that you use the uh, generic kind of Wii remote control. It just makes it easier because they don't actually have the um, GameCube controller slot, so it makes it a little bit harder. At least in my opinion it does uh, for this whole project because it's almost impossible to do without it. So just give me a second to synchronize this remote. Okay, so there we go. Alright, so now you can see here that I already have the Homebrew channel installed and if you ha like I said in the other video, if you didn't catch that other video, go ahead and just click on the homebrew channel right now to go ahead and um, to go on ahead and uh, install it real quickly okay so I'm gonna go ahead and click start okay so what you want to do is you want to click on the iOS 236 installer just go ahead and install that click on load all right, it's going to say, just please be patient for a second. All right, so what you want to do is you want to hit the, the one button on your Wii remote or the Y button if you're using the GameCube controller, okay? So now it's getting the revision. Uh, what you want to do is if you're connected to the internet, which I strongly recommend that you do this process, you just want to go ahead and download the, uh, 
iOS from the internet. So go ahead and do that. Select on A. It's going to initialize the network real quickly. And of course, I'll go ahead and fast forward these you know, slow parts of the video so that way it's not incredibly long, okay? All right, so what we need to do now is just press A to install it. It's going to give it a second to install. All right, so now it's installed successfully. I'm going to press any button to exit. It's exiting. Now, the next thing you want to install is the CIOS X Revision 20B installer. Go ahead and just highlight that, select A, and then load that real quickly. Okay, so now you might want to mute your volume after this because you're going to hear this little, you know, Rick Rolled kind of theme music. I think it was pretty cute at first, but after the next 20 minutes, it gets annoying. So go ahead and just mute your TV. I'm going to mute the computer here real quickly. And what you're going to want to do now is you want to select the iOS 236. So how you want to do that is you want to just hit the left button until you see the 236 and hit A on the Wii Remote, of course, A on the um, uh, GameCube controller. So basically it says, an, uh, you know, press A if you agree, disclaimer, you just say yes. And then after that, you want to put the iOS um, 5.6 and then five, version 5.6.6.1. Go ahead and select A. And the custom iOS you want to install is iOS 2.4.9, of course. And like I said, you want to do the network installation because it'll just go out and get the latest uh, version of it and automatically install it to your Wii, which is what I recommend you do. Yes, like I said, I'm just going to go ahead and fast forward this part of the video so that way it's not too incredibly long. Okay, so now you can see here that it uh, was completely done. Just press any key to continue or any button. Now after that, you want to go and install the iOS 38. So just going to go ahead and to the left to see iOS 38 version 4.14. Uh, 4123 go ahead and hit enter on that and of course you want you want now you want to do the iOS 250 click enter and then again network installation it's going to download it real quickly again fast forward okay so now you can see here that it's done click any button to continue now we're all done here now all we have to do is just click on the B button or the, or the 2 button, whatever. Just click on the B button to restart the Wii. Now it's not going to restart the Wii. And what we're going to do next is after it's done restarting itself, it's going to go back to the Homebrew channel. Now you want to go on the other side. Basically click the, click the plus button or just hit right on your uh, Wii uh, or GameCube controller. And you're going to see there WAD Manager. Go ahead and load, the, load up the WAD Manager and click load. Okay. And of course, this is just a disclaimer. Just say, just click A. It's no big deal. And now, of course, you want to load iOS 2.4.9. Now it's loading the iOS real quickly. And now it's going to say you want an emulator. You just want to go ahead and just disable that. And our source is going to be our Wii SD slot. And now you can see here it's looking at a file browser. What you want to do is, since I've already put everything in one giant package for you, just go ahead and go... Oh, Sorry, let's go ahead to the top there again, so that way you know what I'm looking at. Back, back, okay. So, just go ahead and scroll all the way down until you see the WAD folder, the WAD folder. Click on that, and then you're gonna see here the USB loader GX, or whatever, dot WAD. You wanna go ahead and install that, and basically it's gonna say install WAD, you just click A, and it's gonna go ahead and install that to the actual home screen you know, where you see all your channels. So you can see it's done, go ahead and push any button to continue. And we're basically done at this point. So we're just gonna go ahead and hit the home button to restart uh, the Wii going back into the homebrew channel. So we're gonna just hit the home button again. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do a full shutdown on my Wii for right now. And then I'm gonna just reload it manually. You know, of course, just hit the power button and you'll hear it going on right now. And of course, you got to hit the A button to continue. And now you can see there on the right next to my homebrew channel, I now have the USB ch uh, loader channel. So just go ahead and select that. And you can see here it's all fully installed, ready to go. Now, this is only half of the actual project. Now the other half is finding a hard drive, okay? I have just ba a basic Seagate hard drive here. It doesn't have any junk that comes with it. Basically, it's just a generic hard drive. It's a 300 gigabyte hard drive, which should be more than enough. Um, now, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you how to properly format this 
and how to um, start loading games onto it. Uh, now, of course, I only I advise you that you know don't don't pirate games. It's not cool, man. Um, those guys work really hard for what they do. I mean, at least support them by buying the games. But um, now what we're gonna do is I've tried looking on the internet for a Mac version of this of this program, but they don't quite have all the bugs worked out of it and you just have to use your PC for it. So if you don't have a PC, just find a friend that does. It's like a quick program. You just have to format the drive and you're basically done, okay? So what I do is I'm just gonna go on ahead and we're just gonna move over to my PC and I'll see you in just a second. Okay, so now you can see here on my PC, all I have to do now is just go ahead and go to Google Chrome and I'm gonna, of course, put this website in the description down below, but it's gonna be wbfsmanager.codeplex.com. And you see there's a giant download button here, it'll download the latest version. Now, if you're running a 64-bit copy of Windows, just ignore this download button, click on Downloads, because you have to download the 64-bit copy, otherwise it won't work. I'm running a 64-bit version of Windows on my computer right now, so what you wanna do is just go ahead and download this one, the Watt Manager 3.0 RTW 64-bit, okay? So you can see here it's already downloading into your corner here, click on it, uh, go ahead and double-click on Setup, and just give it a second to load here. You can see here now it's gonna be doing its normal installation guide, it agree to the terms and conditions, next, 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 install. Okay, it's done, click next, and you don't wanna see the readme, so finish. So now what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to plug in your hard drive that we're gonna be using for this Wii. Now, it's gonna erase everything on this hard drive, okay? So you have to basically have a hard drive that is solely devoted to just your Wii, okay? Just letting you know this. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this into my computer. And then, after it's done loading, just give it a second for it to, okay, now it's recognized. Go ahead and double click on the WBFS manager, okay? And of course, you would also might want to see what, you, it's under uh, D, so keep a note of that in your head, that you're using D colon backward slash as your backup drive for the Wii. You're gonna see the loading, screen here, just give it a second, don't click on it because otherwise it'll kind of mess it up a bit. You can see here the WVS manager, it's gonna say welcome, click OK. And that's all correct, no problem. So, you can see up here, new update is available, thank you. You can see here on the drive, it's gonna say drive C, D, and F. Now remember our drive was D, so we just click on D. And what we wanna do is we wanna format drive D. Click format, it's gonna say, are you sure it's gonna delete everything? Don't remove it while it's formatting, just say yes. So now it's completely formatted for WBFS usage. So now, basically, you've just formatted the drive, so now you can use it with the Wii, okay? So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna exit this application, and I'm gonna go, of course, go ahead and properly eject the hard drive. Okay, so now I can pull it out. Now, what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna move back to my Mac and we're gonna move back to the capture card and now we're going to see how this whole process is done. So we're gonna move back now. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is you're just gonna to wanna to go on ahead and plug in your hard drive to the USB port in the back. Now you have to make sure that it's on, I believe it's port two, but if the if it's not in port two, it's gonna be in port one. There's only two USB ports in the back. The, the application will sh tell you that you know it's in the wrong port go ahead and just swap them out real quickly and it'll reload now what we're going to do is just go go ahead and go to my capture card and make that full screen and i'm just going to go ahead and load start that okay so now you can see here here's the normal loading screen Okay, so now it's waiting, okay. Okay, so if you get this, basically you're waiting for your slow USB device. Usually it means that it's probably plugged into the wrong side. So like I said, just go ahead and take the time real quickly to switch them out. It'll only take a few seconds. And of course, if you haven't done that in enough time, I believe what it does is it just resets itself real quickly. So we're just gonna go ahead, so now everything's plugged into the right ports. All right, if I can get this thing to work. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and click on the USB loader program. Click start. Okay. 
And then once it's detected the hard drive that it's properly formatted, you'll see this screen, which is completely normal because there's nothing in this hard drive yet. So what you're going to want to do now is you're going to just want to go ahead and put a normal game into the uh, Wii so that way you can start backing it up to the hard drive. In my case, I have the new Super Mario Bros. Wii. This is a great game. Um, if you ever see it like in its disc format, it says that it's 4 gigabytes, but really it's only 400 because that's all it really needs because there's not really much graphics in it. I mean, if you had a game like Brawl, that's obviously going to be 7 gigs because it's, it's a dual layer disc and it's a lot of content. But we'll, I'll show you. Just go ahead and put the disc into the Wii. You can hear it load and now you can see here on the capture card it already says that it detected a new disc. Do you want to mount it? Do you want to install it? What do you want to do? So all you have to do is just get your Wii remote. You'll see that it says it detected a new disc. So all you want to do is to click on the install button. And what it's going to do is it's going to instantly start reading the entire disc. And it's going to start moving all the content from that disc. You see it already detected what it is. Click OK. It's going to automatically start moving the entire disc over to the hard drive. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fast forward this part of the video to show that it's going to it's done. Okay, so we'll be right back. Okay, once it's done, you're going to see it successfully installed. Just go ahead and hit OK. So you can see here that it's got the new Super Mario Brothers with no image. If you click on this no image, it'll actually you can download all of the uh, artwork for this game. So what I'm going to do is just going to go ahead and just download the entire artwork for it. It only takes a few seconds. This is a simple picture, and you can see now that see now you, every time you go over, you'll see that there's a little box. You can go ahead and click on the game. And what I'm going to do is, of course, I'm just going to eject the disc so that way you can see that the disc is actually in my hands right here okay I'm gonna go ahead and hit the just click on the disc and it'll automatically start playing okay still have the disc in my hand no sleight of hand nothing and it's playing strictly off of the hard drive right now of course yada 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 it has not been created okay and there we go and that there is how to create a USB hard drive for your Nintendo Wii now, if you like the video, go ahead, comment, rate, and subscribe. And again, this has been High Tech Man signing off.